Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is March 21st, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on ambassadors. In 1 Chronicles 19.4, so King Hanan insulted King David's ambassadors by shaving their beards and cutting their robes off at the middle to expose their buttocks. Then he sent them back to David in shame. In 2 Chronicles 35.21, But King Nichols sent ambassadors to Josiah with this message, I don't want to fight you, O king of Judah. I have come only to fight the power with which I am at war. Leave me alone. God has told me to hurry. Don't meddle with God, or he will destroy you, for he is with me. Ezekiel 17:15. Nevertheless, Zedekiah rebelled against Babylon, sending ambassadors to Egypt to seek a great army and many horses to fight against Nebuchadnezzar. But will Israel prosper after breaking all her promises like that? Will she succeed? 2 Corinthians 5.20 We are Christ's ambassadors. God is using us to speak to you. We beg you as though Christ himself were here pleading with you. Receive the love he offers you. Be reconciled to God. So here's what I'm getting. Beware of false ambassadors. Uh, these could be ministers, these could be people sharing the gospel, but are not living the gospel. Who will trick you to believe them as what King Hanan did by shaming the ambassadors that he, that he sent back to King David. We are not to meddle with God's plans for us. He will fight our battles. All we need to do is believe. God uses us his ambassadors, and through Jesus Christ, we are reconciled back to God. We are chosen to be God's ambassadors and to do his work of sharing the gospel with all nations making disciples. I want you to think about this today. This is the start of the last week uh, just before Jesus goes to the cross, which would be coming up this Friday. So I want you to think about this this week. This is the start of it. And have a blessed day. God bless.